Hi, I'm Leslie Ann at LeslieAnn.com. That's L-E-S-L-I-E-A-N-E.com. And I have a holistic health practice for 15 years here in northern San Diego area. And um, I'm a medical, intuitive, integrative wellness coach healer. And I did um, a near-death experience video. And I said I was going to do the next one. It's called Breaking Through to the Other Side. And that's dying. Breaking Through to the Other Side of Dying. I'll give you a quick synopsis of what my near death experiences were and my experience with my terminally ill clients and holding the light and guiding them and bridging them to the loved ones that are on the other side. You see, when you have a near-death experience, Whatever it takes you to that place, and all of a sudden, it goes dark. You feel yourself become weak and listless. You can't really hear much around you. It's garbled and mumbling, and all you can hear is this seductive music that's guiding you through this tunnel and alongside that tunnel are lights and behind the lights are the people that we love that are on the other side your guardian angels people from past lives they're all there to cheer you on like welcome home <laughs> How was it? <laughs> and if you're really dying, there's this golden light, glittery, shimmering of rainbow colors. And at that point in my near death experience, I got there. And then this huge fan and the breeze and the wind was pushing me back. You must go. You can't go now. You have two young children. It's so seductive. But breaking through to the other side of death, you get there's that in the other space where you go and it's all black again. And you get agitated and you're lost and you're scared and you're worried because you can't hear anything. And you can't see anything. You can feel like the breezes and your body, you know, as it's undulating is the light in your soul. Just releasing itself. It's like Maybe watching a butterfly come out of its chrysalis. And it's a little damp, you know? It's a whole different environment. Can you breathe? Do you use your lungs anymore? Because <laughs> you don't. You don't have lungs anymore. You're light. You're brilliant. And then finally, they take their last cough, their last breath. And they're on their journey. And the corridor is dark right now. Because you're going through a metamorphosis. And a large guardian angel who has your Akashic records, your big book of life, not on just this lifetime, but your lives. Because you see, so goes on forever. Our universe 
is a mere speck. Way out there in the cosmos, there are many other places to visit and to help, to be in service. Soul reincarnates to be in service constantly because it wants to give, 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 give. But we forget that when we become human. So your guardian angel meets you and greets you. You go down this corridor and there's this big, beautiful room that awaits you. A nice, comfy chair, in a sense. Because you're no longer human, but you do sit down because you're still holographic form. And you sit in this chair in this panoramic view of a movie of your life. You have four days there. I used to say it was three days, but it's four days now of life review. And in life review, you look at four aspects. First one, how did I treat others while I was here in this earth plane? Your second one, how did I let other people treat me while I was on this earth plane? The third one, did I actually process through my mission and my journey here? Did I execute the point that I came here for? And the last one, how did I treat myself while I was here on this earth plane? That's the key. Any regrets, any I wish and shouldas and couldas and wouldas is when a new contract gets written. A new contract as, well, eh, maybe I want to be human again because I said I was going to treat myself better or I was going to travel more or I was going to reach for that brass ring and I never did. Still, that's why you have four days. Now you have four days to build this contract. But you can't come back, you see, because you're already left that one vessel. There's no going back to the old vessel. So don't try it. It's not going to work right anymore. You'll just get yourself stuck in another world, like in between. Go through, finish your process. When you're done with your four days, they give you some time to adjust, to visit with the people you know on the other side, to share heart space, share experiences. And then at that point, and I'm a medium as well, and at that point, you can be read. You can still have a voice from the other side. And it's my pleasure being their voice. There's so many beautiful beings on the other side that I've read, whether it's animals or humans and, well, let's just leave that at that. <laughs> Once you get comfortable and you feel like you've processed, nobody pushes you yet to choose what you're gonna do unless you decide you hold the passion close to your heart and they need help somewhere else, like maybe with neonatal babies that are in critical condition or critically care people. And that's your, your 
passion. The list goes on and on. You can be also one who wants to help on the earth plane grid. And not just on the earth plane grid, but on the cosmic grid. You see, Nikolai Tesla is still alive. Albert Einstein is still alive. There are many on the other side that have great big missions and they're still doing them. Stephen Jobs is another one. So you see, we leave this human vessel. Life is short and it can be less than 100 years. And that's not very long when you consider how long soul is reincarnated. Death is a beautiful thing. Death is a blessing. And death isn't anything to fear. But you're here now. Do your best to find your joy your happiness, make your life interesting. You know, like they said, a lot of slide in, all worn out, and bruised, you know, because <laughs> you gave it your all here, you know? Who cares what other people think about you? If you're enjoying your life, that's all that matters, you know, because what other people say is, it's their bets, their baggage, their stuff. Not yours, you know? Have fun with that. And you know what? Near-death experiences are left to the divine that creates them for people. Dying is from the divine. So don't practice this at home. If you want to practice astral travel, that's a different story. And that is another video. I hope this helps you understand what death is like. It's glorious, it's beautiful. Just relax and go through it if it's your turn in a hospice way. Much love to you all. Make it a great day. I'm Leslie Ann at leslieann.com. That's L-E-S-L-I-E-A-N-E.com. If you'd like to have a medium reading with me, um, you can reach me at 760-845-6643, or you can Skype me or FaceTime me. I'd be more than happy to read for you. Peace out.